Hello, my name is Fiona Walsh of Imagine Coaching, and today we're going to look at how you can make your PowerPoint presentation interactive. I'll start by sharing my screen. And here we are in PowerPoint. So one of the tools I like is Poll Everywhere. You'll see Poll Everywhere can be integrated into PowerPoint, and when you download the add-in, it will create a poll everywhere tab for you. So when we click on the poll everywhere tab, we can go to new activity and that will open up a new window for us outside of PowerPoint. So you'll see down the bottom of my taskbar there, that's the new window that's opened up. And I can, I can now click on new activity and I can create a poll. There's several different tabs here, five different tabs of options. I'm going to go for the word cloud because this is one that I particularly like. So it's created an untitled word cloud for me. And over to the right here, I can click edit. And now I can change the title. Type something in there. What do you think of the video? There's various settings on the right hand side here. Allow changing answers. So that's allowing somebody to change the answer once they've already responded. Limit the responses per person. I've ticked that off because I'm going to respond quite a few times so that you can see the word cloud building up. Anonymous participation. I would advise having that on. And once you have that on, you can't switch it off. We've got restrict participants and we've got from the web. I've got that one ticked on. Now I'm going to click save and insert slides here and it'll insert that into my PowerPoint presentation. So now I can go back to PowerPoint and here it is. What do you think of the video? I'm going to start the presentation now. I'm going to press shift and F5. It'll start from here and you'll see that is waiting for me to start the poll. And when I hover down the bottom of the screen, you'll see I have a little toolbar open there. If I click on instructions, it'll show people what they need to do. So if I know now on my mobile phone, go to poll everywhere and type in fwalsh399, that's my uh, account number, then I can start popping in some responses. And now when I show responses, I should see those coming up. There we go in there, they're all gonna keep coming in there. And with the word cloud, what you'll have, you'll have a bigger word the more times it's been typed in. So good and great have both been typed in the same amount of times because they are bigger. And now you see that great has the most um, options there. Okay. To lock the poll, we can just switch it on like that, which means then that no more answers will be accepted. You see there, it says on the top, no more responses not accepted. We can unlock it again to allow people to participate. And pop the instructions back up again if somebody's come in late or didn't quite catch it then go back to show the responses. And we've got uh, clear responses as well. So if we wanted to start that poll again, if we're running the presentation again, we can clear the responses. Uh, and as you see, it's clearing them now as we speak, there we go. So that's a tip that I really like because it integrates into PowerPoint seamlessly and it's very, very easy to use. Now the free account of Poll Everywhere allows you to have 25 respondents. And if you have more people than that that need to take part in your poll, you will need a paid version, okay? I hope you found that useful. If you're watching this on LinkedIn, please do connect with me. And if you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.